Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about multi-character capture with the Perception Neuron and the Motion Live plugin in iClone. If you want to learn more about the Perception Neuron specifically, you can take a look at the Perception Neuron website under the Support Item menu at the top, where you'll find some additional tutorials about the device settings. Relusion also has a number of tutorials that will provide you with a great deal more information regarding all the different capabilities of the Motion Live plugin as well. To access those, just go to the main iClone page, go to Add-ons at the top, and then select Plugins. There you'll find the Motion Live main page. From there you'll find a Learn item at the top menu that contains a link to more tutorials as well as the online manual. Under Body Mocap you'll find a comprehensive help section for the Perception Neuron device settings. A little further down the page you'll find the settings for Multiple Actor Capture as well. Here you'll see the procedure for Multiple Character Calibration. You'll first need to make sure that your Perception Neuron is connected to the Axis Neuron application by following the steps outlined here. Next comes Calibration. Have one of your actors stand on the mark and follow the calibration poses. Once that's done, your second actor will need to follow the same calibration procedure in the exact same spot. At that point, you're nearly ready to stream the raw mocap data to the Motion Live plugin in iClone, and you can see your models being driven by the actor movement in the Axis Neuron application. You want to double check your settings here to ensure that the IP and port numbers are correct. Since the IP address is unique for the local machine, you won't want to change anything here. You'll also want to ensure the broadcast settings are set to BVH, since that's the data format that Motion Live is set to receive. Now let's switch over to iClone and load up the Motion Live plugin from the file menu. Add the Perception Neuron to the body from the gear list and make sure it's connected by clicking on the empty circle. You'll see that it automatically populates the actor field with a 2, meaning that it's streaming the data live from two separate actors. Let's connect the female actor first. In the character list, click on the exclamation mark, choose Perception Neuron, and then select the actor input you wish to control that model. In this case, we're selecting Actor 1. Once you click Preview and press the spacebar, your model in iClone will now be controlled by the mocap data streaming from that particular actor in Axis Neuron. To apply the same mocap data to yet another character, follow the exact same procedure with the male dummy character. You'll see both models being driven by the mocap data from the same actor. To switch the input mocap data for our male dummy to Actor 2, just follow the same process and this time select Actor 2. Note that the world axis coordinates for both iClone and Axis Neuron are aligned to each other, so you'll see the exact same movements on the world plane in both applications. This alignment is useful because you have the option at the top right to use the position data from Axis Neuron or keep the character's relative position in iClone. To demonstrate this, I'll change the female dummy to follow the alignment data from Axis Neuron, while I'll keep the male at his original position in iClone. Pay attention to the world axis position in Axis Neuron, and notice that when I preview now, the female character will snap to that same relative position in the iClone application. If I switch them both over to mocap data, they'll both snap to the exact same position and rotation within iClone that you see in the Axis Neuron window. Now you'll see the two characters perform individually. The recording process is the same. Just select Record and press Space to begin. Once the recording is stopped, you'll see two separate clips of equal length in each of the respective motion tracks of our two dummy characters. And that's about all there is to it, quick and easy. To learn more about Motion Live and other forms of motion capture, make sure you check out our landing page in the description. And as always, our forums at forum.reillusion.com are a great resource for learning more about iClone. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.